Hoops 2K7, third degree, 70 mile entertainment. Put the tip off, gotta make it happen. Straight to the cup, see I'm ready for some action. Two points, please add it to my stats. I can smell a triple double. Pass the ball right back. Turnover, got the ball right back. Shoot it from downtown, three points like that. Lights out, now we got a little lead. Better call your timeout, that's what you really need. Cause we can blow them out, crossing over, showing out. Teach them how to ball, got them tired, now they subbing out. Change your game plan, cause it ain't working out. Up by the half, now we know it ain't coming out. You off the glass, homie, I got it. No look pad, hey, homie, I got it. Open shot, I'ma take it. Okay, if I shoot it, I'ma make it. Okay, I'll you off the glass, homie, I got it. No look pad, hey, homie, I got it. Open shot, I'ma take it. Okay, if I shoot it, I'ma make it. Okay, I'll you fuck the glass. No look pass. No look pass. Open shot, I'ma take it. shot, I'ma take it. If I shoot it, I'ma make it. If I shoot it, I'ma make it. Head in the game. here at the Shoemaker Center in Cincinnati, Ohio. We've got a great matchup for you today. The Xavier Musketeers take on the Cincinnati Bearcats. Good evening, everyone. Along with Bill Raftery and Bonnie Bernstein, I'm Vern Lundquist. Coach Cronin looks determined as he leads his troops into battle today. Bill, Coach Cronin has told us that he'd like to see his team improve defensively. And they're working hard to do just that. He believes the key to becoming a successful team will be their ability to defend effectively. Coach Miller leads his team into the fray today. What's your take, Bill? Coach Miller works just as hard to develop his kids as complete players as he does at winning basketball games. Don't get me wrong, he wants to win, but to him, that's a byproduct of teaching kids the right way to play. Sykes should be a central part of the game plan today. Sykes is a superb point guard. He's such a hard worker out there, and he can do a little bit of everything. A great competitor, no question. Leslie could be a crucial piece of the puzzle on the other side. Leslie can also hold his own at the point. He can put it on the deck as good as anybody in the game. His ball handling skills alone make him fun to watch. All right, thanks, Bill. We're just about ready to get this one started. The Bearcats win the tip-off, and the game is underway. Uses the crossover. Knocks it down from the wing. <laughs> to the bucket. Lays it right in. That's a pretty layup. He took it straight to the big fella and it didn't bother him one bit. Picked off by Leslie. that matches his team's speed and quickness, and he doesn't really expect that to change tonight. He wants his guys to get out on the break, rack up points in transition, and wear the opponent down. Thanks, Bonnie. Cincinnati takes it up court. It's all time. Sykes, nice little crossover. Uses the crossover. Sykes goes to the crossover. They need to get a shot off. Goes up. Hersha yanks it down inside. The Musketeers 
Bring it up. Just over eight minutes left in the half. Leads it to the middle. Releases. Gets the go-ahead bucket. Way to make room for himself in there. The defense slacked off just a little and paid for it. The Bearcats bring it up. They're trailing by two. Sykes swings it to the right side. Gets the lay-in. Oh, man, he sweeps from his attitude. Sykes is whistled for reaching in. That's his first foul. The Bearcats will bring out some reserves. Hickman has picked up his first foul of the game. That's how you make the steal, Bill. Anytime you're not protecting the ball, you're leaving yourself open to get pickpocketed. Swung it by Harsha. Xavier with the ball. We've got a high ball game here. Pass, right side. Pugh passes it to the middle. Hunter is tagged with the reach, and that's his first foul of the game. Morton checks in for the first time. Off the inbound. Hickman grabs the rebound inside. They'll try to retake the lead. Williams with the crossover. Crosses it over. For the lead. Connects. The Musketeers take it up court. Just over six minutes left in the half. To the rim. Gently drops it in. Sweetness. They gave him a look and paid for it. Cincinnati with the ball. The score is knotted at eight. It's stolen by Pugh. To take the lead. He gets hammered. He'll head to the strike. Easy call on that one. It was pretty obvious he got hit on the release. Passes to the high post. Hey, 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 
Hickman passes it to the top of the key. From about 19 feet, Bowen gets the offensive rebound. Puts too much on him. They got just enough pressure on him to make him alter his shot and force the miss. Lambert passes it to the right side. The powerful dunk was hammered down by Q. The Bearcats will take their first timeout. The Bearcats will get a few of their starters back in the game. The Bearcats with the ball. They're trailing 11-8. Hickman, the crossover, takes the three. Nope. He did well to get the step on the D with the crossover. Maybe next time he'll finish it off. Pass inside. Lambert tries to back him in. Dunked in by Lambert. Cincinnati brings it up. They're shooting 44% from the field. Pump fakes. Tries to back down. To stop the run. Off the front rim and out. I like the way he battled for that rebound. So small. Cincinnati was the last to get a piece of it before it headed out of bounds. The Musketeers will make some substitutions. Sykes gets called for the reach, and that's foul number two for him. Sykes will sit down to avoid further foul. Backs in. Dumps it off. Puts it up, sticks it from 14 feet. Whoa. Wonderful feed, just like you draw it up. Cincinnati takes it up court. They're four for 10 from the floor. Hickman passes to the right wing. The wing shot knocked down by Muhammad. The Musketeers bring it up the court. They're up 15 to 10. Gora spins. Gets the reach-in call. That's his first foul. It takes quick hands to get the theft, and he was too slow that time. Nice two-handed slam by Crisp. Blake Chris. The Bearcats carry it up. A seven-point spread. Coleman backs in. Coleman kicks it out to the top of the key. Coleman tries to post him up. Coleman collected inside. Went for the lay-in, but it was missed by Coleman. Pass, right side. Tries to back down. Williams skips it to the baseline. Fires from the right block. Chris snatches the rebound. The Musketeers bring the ball up. 234 left in the first half. Takes a three. Malaman calls it in. Dish down low. Grabbed by Hickman. With the second effort, finishes in close. The Musketeers 
are making some wholesale changes. The Musketeers take it up court, and it's a five-point game. Dumps it off. Here's the double team. Pass, top of the key. Two minutes remaining. Backs down. Shoots the turnaround. Malama pulls it down. Cincinnati carries it up. They're desperately trying to find a way to score. Williams backs him down. The tough shot. Lambert grabs the rock. The Musketeers with the ball. 1.30 left in the first half. Buckman passes to the right side. Lambert tries to post him up. Beyond the arc. Off the back of the cylinder and out. The Bearcats bring it up and it's a five point game. Great pass to lead him in and the finish by Hickman. Xavier brings it up. They're shooting 61% from the field. Pass, left side. It's stolen by Hickman. The finisher can't get the layup. The Musketeers bring the ball up. 48 seconds left in the first half. With the crossover. Unloads from 10 feet. Count it. Cincinnati calls timeout. The Bearcats will bring in a whole separate platoon into the game. On the court. Two second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. Ryan passes it to the corner. They're going to have to hurry with the drop step. With the runner, Lambert yanked down inside. That's the half, and we're headed to the locker room with a score 19 to 14. And now it's time for the Power Bar Player of the Half. Take it away, Bill. Burn the home court advantage hasn't been there so far. We'll see if the crowd pumps them up for the second half. The Musketeers are out front. Leslie has been just deadly, Vern. The hoop must look five feet wide to him right now because it doesn't seem like he's missing anything. Inside or out, he's been an offensive force. Absolutely on fire. There you have it. The Power Bar Player of the Half. They're playing a 2-3 zone, Vern. 